Spring sport in Ottawa. If you've never seen it before, it may also be one of the strangest. It involves players who referee themselves and sing to the opposition. It's called Ultimate Frisbee, and for 4,000 people, it's the ultimate choice in sports. Tonight, a special demonstration in Ottawa, and CJOH's Sandra Franson was there. The sport has taken off. From five teams in 1988, Ottawa now has 400, the largest league in the world, and it's still growing. So what has people coming out? The fact is co-ed is big. I mean, I think people view it as a very social sport. There's a lot of uh, uh, camaraderie and stuff that, that goes on, and uh, also the, the fact that it's self-refereed. No referees, no contact, just players with a sense of fair play. I really like the spirit of the game. It's really, uh, it can be really competitive and aggressive, but uh, because we don't have referees, we call our fouls ourselves, and uh, I like the sense of responsibility that each player carries to the game. The game that involves a frisbee thrown down the field. A point is scored when it's caught in the end zone. Men and women play side by side. A lot of the people playing here in this game are their couples, and uh, they met each other through Ultimate, or they met each other, you know, played on the same teams, or played against each other, and just, you know, got to know each other. Couples, kids, and dogs. Really anybody can play. I mean I think that's part of the beauty of the sport is that you can get people out here that are tremendous athletes and playing at the top level of their game and you can get people out here that are trying to find something fun to do and some exercise at the same time. Many of these players will compete in next month's nationals in Ottawa. The best catch at this demonstration will win hundred dollars for the winner's charity of choice. It's a game that involves great athleticism and spirit and for these players it is the ultimate sport. Sandra Franson, CJOH News. World famous musician.